from London, this is Q Live. Britain, get ready to play. I'm Marina Berry. It's 1 p.m. and last night was the world premiere of the new Queen movie, Bohemian Rhapsody, at Wembley Arena, and I was there. Here's a picture of me. And I, that's not me. That, that, that's me in Pete's with Jedward. Show the other one. Show the other one. Show the other one. Uh, there I am with Freddie. Oh, it was absolutely brilliant. You've got to go and see it when it's out. Uh, the show must go on. Though. So you can answer 12 questions under pressure. You can have one vision of winning £500 this afternoon. I feel like I'm going slightly mad. You know the deal. I'm going to ask you 12 questions. Easy to hard. You'll have 10 seconds to tap each answer. If you get all 12 right, then you'll win or split £500. Now, it's time to say hello to today's Cooper fan. It's Elliot Doyle and his workmates. There they are, all playing together. They're actually moving into a new office, but they still find time to play Q Live every day. Q lads, hashtag proper Q lads. If you would like to be tomorrow's Cuba fan, then tweet us a picture of yourself playing Q Live. And you know what? You might see yourself on the small screen very soon. But right now, it's time for the game that stops the nation. Get ready to win. Let's go. So there are eight and a half thousand of you ready to play and ready to win that 500 pounds. So shall we get this show on the road? Here's Q1. Which of the following is a type of steak? Ribeye, false eye or London eye? The record for the most steaks ever eaten in one sitting is three 72 ounce steaks. That's nothing. I can tell you now, I'm, I'm positive that I've eaten more than that in one sitting. <laughs> the answer is ribeye. 7,700 of you still in the game. Now, next up is our first ever game of Give Us a Q. Each week, we'll be showing one question sent in by a Q Live viewer. So today's question comes from Sophie in Kent. So listen carefully, because here it comes. Hi, guys. Here's my Q Live question. Who is the current presenter of The X Factor? Good luck. So, Q2. Who is the current presenter of The X Factor? Dermot O'Leary, Jeremy Clarkson, or Chris Tarrant? And The X Factor first started in 2004. And they, might, they actually made a celebrity version, didn't they? That featured Chris Moyles, Paul Daniels, and uh, Gillian McKeith was in it as well. Yeah, but who is the host? It's Dermot O'Leary. 7,600 of you through to the next question. Now, if you would like to submit a video question for the next week, well, next week's Q Live, uh, then film it on your phone and tweet it right now using the hashtag Q Live, and you could be popping up on Q Live next week, just like Sophie did today. Q3. In this year's series of Love Island, what profession was Alex George? Was he a doctor, was he a teacher, or was he a dentist? Now, apparently, each Islander gets £200 a week to be on the show. You can actually break it down to how many hours they're filming for every day. It's actually nothing, is it? The answer is a doctor. What did you think of Alex, uh, old Dr Alex? I, uh, I thought he was a bit of a wet blanket. I'm going to offend some people because I know he had a lot of fans, but he's a wet blanket, people! Anyway, uh, if you got eliminated, keep paying for points because the top scorer at the end of each week gets a whopping £150. So keep playing. Q4. When he legally changed his name in 1972, Elton John also took what new middle name? Napoleon, Hercules or Orion? Now, John has a number of famous godchildren, including Sean Lennon, son of John Lennon and Yoko Ono, and Brooklyn and Romeo Beckham, the children of David and Victoria Beckham. The answer is Hercules. 3,100 of you through to Q5. Here we go. Which of these EastEnders characters has had the most wives? Billy Mitchell, Alfie Moon, or Jack Branning? Every episode is exactly the same length of 27 minutes and 15 seconds long. Do you watch it, you EastEnders fan? I'm more of a Coronation Street person myself, but the answer is Alfie Moon. Ooh, 500 of you, you know what that means. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow. Only 16% of you knew the answer to Q5. Lovely moon, eh? Q6. Who did England play in their first match with Gareth Southgate in charge as caretaker manager? Tunisia, Slovenia or Malta? Now, at 16, Gareth joined Crystal Palace where, as a member of the youth team, he was told to either man up or get out. He was also told to go and be a travel agent. So, uh, yeah, a little bit conflicting, if you ask me. Uh, the answer is Malta. 600 of you. Well done. And some of you using your lives on that question, too. And I blame you. Now, if you love Q Live, Charlie Baker, the money maker, is back tonight at 8 p.m. with a thousand pounds up for grabs. But right now, there are 500 reasons to play. Here's Q7. On which body of water is Bulgaria's eastern coastline? Caspian Sea, Aegean Sea, or Black Sea? Do you know the oldest gold treasure in the world was found in Bulgaria? 3,000 gold objects were found dating back more than 6,000 years. How are you with your geography? The answer's Black Sea. 582 if you got it right. Let's move swiftly on then to Q8. Which of these was not president at any point in Margaret Thatcher's time as Prime Minister? George H.W. Bush, Bill Clinton or Jimmy Carter? And before entering politics, Maggie worked as a food scientist developing soft serve ice cream. Who knew? What's your favourite flavour? It's got to be pistachio for me. A bit outside the box, but I do love it. Bill Clinton is the answer that we were looking for. And just 286 of you knew the answer to that one. Here's Q9. Which of these words was added to the Oxford English Dictionary first? Selfie, bestie, or emoji? Wonder if we can get the word cupofan added to the dictionary. The campaign starts now. Come on. Sign up to it. The answer is, it is emoji. 155 of you knew that it was emoji. It's time now for some shout outs. So big shout out to Megan and her dog. Hello to Neve. Hello, sister, playing today. And finally, hi to Elise and her dad, Craig. Now, if you would like a shout out, you know what to do. Send us a message on Facebook, Twitter, or on Instagram. Now, next up is a picture question. We've zoomed in on a famous movie poster. So have a look, because your question is about to appear. Q10. This is a film poster for what film? North by Northwest, Vertigo, or The Man Who Knew Too Much? Now, talking of films, the cat held by Marlon Brando in the opening scene of The Godfather was a stray that the director found while on set. I love stray cats, I've actually got one. I actually got, I actually got one that comes in. And uh, I call him Captain White Socks, he's got white legs and he's all black, so cute. North by Northwest is the answer. 141 of you still in the game at the penultimate question. In fact, you know what? Should we just zoom out and reveal the full poster? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, classic, great movie that. If you haven't seen it, make sure you do. Uh, Q11. Which of these actors appeared with James Corden in the 2006 film The History Boys, but not in Gavin and Stacey? Samuel Anderson, Jamie Parker, or Russell Tovey? Now, this actor attends a plyo jam class three times a week. If you didn't know, that's a type of dance which uses plyometrics, a type of training which centers around intense jumping. <laughs> like that. Do you know what? Forget it. The answer is Jamie Parker. My, my knees are gone. My knees are gone. 67 of you <laughs> made it through to the final question. You did one correct answer away from £500. Get ready. It's time for this. How many Narnia books have not been adapted as films this century? Two, three, or four? This is for 500 smackaroonies, people. Come on, you know the answer. Look deep inside your soul. You will find the answer to Q12. It's there somewhere. <laughs> or not. The answer is four. 18 winners. Congratulations. You don't speak out to me your name. So we've got Edward145, we've got Muku, we've got Star Tony, we've got Help Me. Don't need help, you just want some money. Uh, Rock, we've got Different Mind, we've got I Did It, You Did Do It. We've got uh, Jay Mung, we've got Annie Hunt, we've got uh, oh, loads more. Do you know what? I'll be all day, wouldn't I? You're sharing £500 loads, so well done. Uh, Charlie Baker, the money maker, will be quizzing Britain tonight at eight, and he'll be revealing the name of last night's Golden Q winner. But that's all we've got time for for now. I've been Marina Berry and you've been extraordinary. Have a great day. Bye for now.